the snapshots capture moments of lives well lived, bright futures now cruelly snatched away. This was her sister and her mom, Sara's graduation. Daniel Goetz Esfahani has lost the love of his life. He and Saba Sadat, together for three years, now separated forever. You know, anything I do reminds me of her. Like, I can't believe she's gone. Shakufei Shupanajad was Saba's mother. She was a doctor committed to healing others at this Edmonton clinic. I, I remember her she's a, as a friendship, as a colleague. I will not forget her, you know, in my life. I will not forget her. Both of her daughters, Saba and her sister, Sara, wanted to follow in their mother's footsteps. Sara Sadat was in school to become a clinical psychologist. Saba wanted to become a medical doctor like her mother. She had already applied to go to medical school. While she waited to learn how to heal people, she was already committed to helping them. Volunteering to help families in need with a local charity. And she was trying to help them get above that poverty line and bring them back to their feet. So I think she has touched so many lives. And doing medical research into women's health at the University of Alberta. She would have been a rock star. So I, that girl would have, I don't know what she would have done. And I wish we all could have seen and benefited from her. Their loss is felt more deeply by their loved ones. But it's one that leaves this city, this country, much poorer too. It's very difficult to see that she's no longer here because, you know, they were all, they were all angels in my eyes. So, Aaron, yesterday there was talk about maybe as many as 30 people from Edmonton on the plane. That number has changed a bit. Yeah, it's really a fluid situation, as you can imagine, Ian. And the last day or so has really been about trying to determine how many people were just passing through Edmonton and how many people actually lived here. And tell us more about the impact on the community. It's huge. It's not a big community, Iranian community, uh, Canadian community here in Edmonton. Mm -hmm. And like you said in the intro, pretty much everyone in that community knows somebody that was on that plane. That's why they're gathering. That's why they gathered last night at the legislature, and that's why they plan to gather again on Sunday at the University of Alberta, where so many of the people that were on that flight from here were connected. A scene repeated uh, in many places across the country. Thanks, Aaron.